Welcome back to Real Estate Talk. This Saturday night, we always want it to be your idea. We don't ever want to talk at you. We want to teach you. Real estate changes people's lives to the good. And I'll tell you, our friend Heather Anderson, who's live in the studio, has a buyer's boot camp, seven-week course that we've been talking about. Let me tell you two ways you can go to, out and check this out. Reach out to her on the bat line, 855-732-6700, 855-732-6700. Or you can go to own, O-W-N-T-X.us. Now, Heather. Yes. We got through the cash flow. Got through the balance sheet. Yep. We established we had a job. Yep. And we established more important than anything, we want to buy a home. That's right. Right? Right. Get it in your heart and soul. That's right. Uh, if you want to live in a van, so be it. <laughs> I did that all the way up until I was about 30. <laughs> but it ain't cool after a while, right? Right. We have what I call, and we're going to get to what the next step is. Okay. But when you look at real estate from a 30,000 square foot view, Dallas, you will build wealth through owning real estate because we have so many jobs here. We have so many people that are yearning to have a nice home. Mm -hmm. um, and so... When I say 8 to 12 to 15 percent equity, man, I've interviewed over a thousand real estate agents here. One percent of the agents do 99 percent of the business and all say that we have a good market here because we have a diverse influx of jobs. Mm -hmm. It's true. And when, when that happens for somebody I'm just going to preach this a little bit. I'm okay. just preaching. Okay. We're going to get back to the seven-week course. Okay. But if you're paying $1,000 rent right now, and you do that over the course of 2016, you're going to put $12,000 out of your pocket. Right? Mm-hmm. And if you own a $100,000 home with the rates the way they are today, um, you're going to have a much less P I. T I principal interest taxes and insurance payment than a thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Right? And so you take that same thousand dollars and you pay it towards home ownership versus renting where you lose twelve grand over a year. Mm -hmm. If that hundred thousand dollar home is appreciating eight to ten percent. That is a thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. So you're making twelve thousand dollars on that scenario, and all along you've been paying in that first year a little bit towards principal. Mm -hmm. So then when you get to the end of 2016, instead of wasting twelve thousand dollars, you've earned a minimal of twelve thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Did you follow that? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. 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 I mean, it's like, it, it's a no-brainer, right, to own a home. And I just, so many people want to have this mm -hmm. opportunity. And it is truly, truly possible. Our, the, this country, Willie, the United States, they set up plans to allow and encourage ownership. It's laws are in place. Okay. Guidelines are in place. It's easy. Uh, well... I try not to say easy. Mm -hmm. Nothing in life is easy. Nothing in life is really easy. You know what it is? It's three yards in a cloud of dust. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what that means? No. <laughs> well, if you know anything about sports, it's okay. three yards in a cloud of dust. Oh, okay. All right? Gotcha. Gotcha. So, balance sheet, all our sheets. We know we got a job, right? Uh huh. How in the world am I going to get the down payment? All right. Here's some awesome ideas. All right. All right, so this is how we help try to teach our friends. Um, all right, so first and foremost, we talked about cash flow, which is basically making a budget to understand how your money comes in, how your money goes out. So we have to obviously do that. Based on that, we can see what we have to play with, okay? So we talked about one of the options, sell some stuff, right? Sell some stuff. So sell that motorcycle, we can get the down payment like that. Mm -hmm. 
Um, other thing we can do is we can think about other assets we may have, like our 401k. Did you know, Willie, if you have 401k, most companies allow you to use a portion of that or all of it toward your down payment mm -hmm. for your first house. And a lot of our clients do that um, because they find it's better to invest in a house than the market or whatever their comfort level is. It's well, you don't want to get me started on that. If you got a 401k and you don't have some of it in real estate, real estate here in the Dallas Metroplex, or just say real estate in Texas, will far outperform traditional retirement accounts. Mm -hmm. So if your money is just in a 401k and you're not yielding the returns you should be, I agree with you, Heather, redeploy it into real estate. Absolutely. And I bet your company would have that option. We could help, again, navigate you through that conversation, tell you who you need to talk to, what questions you need to ask, et cetera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Another way is we, we set up this plan. I talked about it a little bit earlier in, in this show, and I've talked about it on shows before, mm -hmm. but we have a crowdfunding platform. Mm -hmm. Do you know what crowdfunding is, Willie? Sounds like a riot to me. <laughs> it's definitely not a riot. Okay. okay. So like crowdsourcing is like there's these cool websites. Like one example is called GoFundMe. Okay. Okay. And another one specifically for your house is called HatchMyHouse.com. Mm -hmm. And you can go set up an account at these crowdfunding websites. And you can basically ask friends and family for birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, baby showers, wedding showers, whatever things you want that traditionally you would get gifts or register at maybe Bed Bath & Beyond or Target for. You can redirect that registration and basically register for your house down payment. Go figure, man. Isn't that interesting? Now, I believe that you're a millennial now. Oh, I yeah. would have never thought that. <laughs> so we went to a cool um, bridal show yesterday. They had the I was about to say. Yeah, they had the Plano bridal show. And so we went and got, got a booth. And it was really awesome. I loved it. I love, love, loved it. It was like right up my alley because I got to, you know, talk and teach these little brides to be. And, you know, typically what we see is like. Did you just say little brides? Yeah, to they're be? they're like babies. They're so young. Oh my god, I feel old. But um, yeah. but <laughs> but anyway, they're so they're so sweet and just precious. And you know, they're starting their life, and it's exciting to watch. To me, that makes sense. That's the smart play if you're a newlywed in yeah. order to, you know, heck, they're going to bring you China and all that other garbage, yeah. and, and it's going to be gone in three years. True. Um, all right, so I just want to reiterate, Heather Anderson, 855-732-6700, 855-732-6700. You can go to own, O-W-N, T-X dot U-S, seven-week course, Buyer Boot Camp. It's absolutely free. And it gives you this straight and narrow on advice when it comes to the dream of home ownership. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you call this? Crowdfunding. 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 And so, like, crowdfunding or crowdsourcing, it's kind of a, you know, same Anybody words. can do that? Anybody can do it. Anybody. How does that stack up with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? Well, remember how earlier we had to talk about you have to, like, have the funds. Two months, huh? That's right. You have to have the funds, which the funds for the down payment have to be what Willie called earlier, seasoned mm -hmm. in your bank account, your checking account, your savings account, whatever account is where, wherever the down payment so is. So early yeah. is better. Right. And this is really geared to the folks that are wanting to buy a home maybe late August, That's September. right. That's right. So remember that my six-month rule? Yeah. So about six months. About six months. Could be four. Could be eight. But mm -hmm. about six months, mm -hmm. we can get you there. So it takes planning. You're about to buy a $100,000, $200,000 asset. Like, you don't just walk into the labor room and have the baby in nine months, right? You plan. So that's what we're going to do for the house, too. That's how we become successful. Heather, I really like that strategy because you take all the unknowns mm -hmm. out of uh, first-time home buyer. It's a very stressful thing. A lot of people avoid yeah. um, first-time home buyer because they're uninformed. They don't really know. They've gotten bad information. Yeah. I'll tell you, our friends over at Real Estate Concierge, um, I, as the host of this program, fully endorse her product. Uh, you can reach out to her directly at 
6700-855-732-6700. Or you can go to own, O-W-N-T-X dot U-S. You'll be glad you did. Uh, Seven-week course on the buyer boot camp. Now, Heather, I'm getting ready to come to break. Mm -hmm. Uh, crowdsourcing, mm -hmm. balance sheet, mm -hmm. all of our sheets, <laughs> yeah. our down payment. That's right. We're getting close. Oh, yeah. What are we going to talk about when we come back? Okay, we're going to talk about why do you even need us, right? Why do you need an agent? So we'll teach you all this stuff. You, you want the whole list of the top <laughs> ten? <laughs> yeah. You think you got it all, right? Uh, yeah, you, you think you do. do. Think again. Yeah. One percent of the agents do 99% of the business. My friend Heather Anderson, as you can tell, has a servant's heart and really cares about you, our listener, and the dream of home ownership. Very nice, very intelligent lady, and you should get to know her. 855-732-6700. We'll be back in a willy scotch.